In today's video, we're diving deep into the world of MC stock and the ongoing manipulation and controversy surrounding it. We'll discuss the fake buyers in the market, the impact of synthetic shares, the fundamentals of MC, and how short sellers are facing significant challenges. So, if you're an AMC investor or just curious about the stock market dynamics, stay tuned as we uncover the details. Hey, welcome to AMC Daily. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But everyone remember, this is not a financial advice video. Let's begin by exploring the concept of fake buyers and how this term applies to AMC. According to a tweet by Michael Burry 2.0, there was an order of 58,000 shares that had no impact on AMC's price. The situation seems strange because even when a large block of shares is bought, the price remains unaffected. This phenomenon suggests that these orders are either being routed into the dark pool or involve synthetic shares, which do not influence the price upward as expected. The discussion around fake buyers doesn't imply that people aren't purchasing AMC shares. Instead, it points out that the purchases are not being reflected accurately in the market due to routing in dark pools or the involvement of synthetic shares. A tweet by French AMC Ape highlights an article from 2021, which reveals that AMC had 35,000 times the failures to deliver compared to Amazon. This illustrates the scale of the issue, which has only grown since then. Despite increasing on balance volume of, the buying pressure isn't reflected in the price movement, raising questions about market manipulation. Shifting our focus to AMC's fundamentals, the company's performance in the film industry remains robust. As highlighted by a tweet from Adam Aaron, AMC is continuing to release new movies that perform well at the box office. For example, the original Joker had the highest ever domestic opening weekend for any October release and AMC's own Taylor Swift film had the second-best October opening. These results suggest that AMC remains a significant player in the movie industry with multiple revenue streams. Despite strong performance metrics and positive news, AMC's stock price has not reflected these successes. Other companies, like Cinemark, have reached 52-week highs, while AMC's stock price has remained suppressed. This discrepancy indicates that there may be external factors, like short selling and market manipulation, affecting AMC's stock price. Now, let's examine the challenges faced by short sellers. A tweet by the Butcher of Wall Street, Marcel Kalinovic, reveals that UBS is planning to close 85 branches by early 2025. UBS, known for holding toxic swaps involving AMC and GameStop GME, is feeling the pressure. These swaps are considered risky and the recent branch closures suggest that UBS is in a difficult financial position, potentially due to these toxic assets. Goldman Sachs is another example. According to a tweet by Crystal Ball, Goldman Sachs shares dropped by 4% after the CEO warned of a $400 million loss from a credit card venture and declining trading revenue. These issues may be linked to the bank's focus on spoofing and shorting AMC, highlighting the cost and risks associated with these strategies. Short sellers are spending enormous amounts of money daily to suppress a MC's price through tactics like spoofing, creating synthetic shares, and financing existing short positions. These costs are beginning to take a toll on their financial stability, as seen in the declining trading revenue and overall market performance. The broader market is also feeling the impact. The S&P 500 recently wiped out $700 billion in value, and over the last week, the total loss has surpassed $1.5 trillion. This massive capital wipeout is a clear indication of the market's volatility and the strain on institutions heavily involved in shorting stocks like AMC. Additionally, the reverse repo market RRP is showing a significant decrease in liquidity. As the year progresses, the RRP is on track to reach zero, indicating a severe liquidity crisis. This illiquidity affects both institutions and short sellers making it increasingly challenging for them to maintain their positions. Moreover, the FDIC insured institutions have reported $512.9 billion in unrealized losses on securities in the second quarter of 2024, as stated in a tweet by Mixquizatikau. These losses are increasing, adding more pressure on short sellers who are already struggling to maintain their positions. 
The shorts are losing money not only from their short positions, but also from the declining value of their collateral assets and the bank's failures. The situation is equally complex for GameStop GME. According to a tweet by Kevin Molane, at its current price, GameStop is now more than 50% cash per share profitable and cash flow positive. However, the company has announced plans to sell another 20 million shares, indicating a need to raise additional capital despite having $4 billion in cash on hand. GameStop's revenue streams have not been as strong as expected. As the MC Biggums pointed out, the company has struggled with its NFT marketplace and other ventures, resulting in a decrease in revenue. On the other hand, AMC has been more successful in diversifying its revenue streams and maintaining its position in the industry. The ongoing debate between AMC and GME supporters revolves around the best strategy for survival and growth. Both companies are taking different routes, but their end goals are similar, to overcome the challenges posed by short sellers and market manipulation. GameStop is focusing on raising capital and maintaining liquidity, while AMC is leveraging its strong performance in the movie industry and multiple revenue streams. In conclusion, the situation with AMC and GME is far from simple. Both companies face unique challenges and opportunities, and their strategies for dealing with short sellers and market manipulation differ. What remains clear is that the short sellers are under increasing pressure, with mounting costs and dwindling capital. As long as the MC and GME continue to survive and adapt, the shorts will remain trapped, unable to escape their positions. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about AMC stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.